Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to format a USB drive and make it bootable. You can create bootable USBs for many OS's like Ubuntu and other Linux based OS's and you can even create them for Windows, but Windows has a different method of creating them. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on using Ubuntu ISOs. The first step will be to plug in a USB drive. You can plug it into any of the USB ports on your computer, but I recommend something that is not on a USB hub. Next we need to format the drive. You can do that by right clicking the Windows icon and then looking for disk management. Once you open disk management, scroll down to the disk you want to format and then right click it and then format. Once you have the format menu open, make sure the file system is set to FAT32 because that's the format supported for bootable USBs. After a couple seconds, it should be done formatting. If this method doesn't work, move on to the alternate method to format. Another method is to use disk part. So start by opening the command prompt and then typing disk part. And then once a new command line is open, type in cell disk and then look for the disk that you want to format. You can do this based on the size of the disk. And then type in the number and then enter. Finally, type clean to format the disk. Right now, there are no partitions on the disk, so to build those partitions, we have to reopen disk management. You can do that by opening Windows Search or using the previous method of right-clicking the Windows icon. Once you have disk management open, scroll down to the disk and then right-click and then create new simple volume. And then follow the steps on the screen. Once this is complete, we can move on to the next step. The tool I'll be using to make our USB bootable is called Rufus. This one allows us to flash the ISO file we choose onto our USB drive. There are other tools like Belena Etcher which also work. Once you have that downloaded, download the ISO you want to make bootable. I'll be using Ubuntu server for this example. You can choose to download any other Linux OS or other types of ISOs, but remember you can't flash Windows ISOs using this method. If you'd like to see a video on how to flash Windows ISOs, comment down below. While our ISO is downloading, go ahead and open Rufus. The first thing you should see is whether it wants to check for updates online. I recommend clicking no unless you are going to keep using this item regularly. The first thing you should see is the device you want to flash to. Usually this auto selects properly unless you have multiple USB drives plugged in. Once the ISO finishes downloading, we can go ahead and click the select button and then go to the path where the ISO is downloaded. All the other settings can be left as default. Once you're done, click start. Make sure you select write in ISO mode. If you see another pop-up that says download required, make sure you click yes because this allows Linux ISOs to boot properly. Based on the ISO size, this can take anywhere from 1 minute to 10 minutes. Once this is complete, click the close button at the bottom and then eject the USB drive. And that's all. Now you have a bootable USB drive. If you'd like to see me make a bootable Windows ISO drive, comment down below. And if you like this video, like and subscribe.